Hello everyone, thank you for joining me this afternoon. I've just come on with a haul, starting with this frame, which I think is beautiful. It's 8 by 10 and it has this gorgeous 3D pattern. This is all 3D, uh, all right around the edge. Um, I bought it for specifically for a project that I've done that I'm going to frame. And when I've framed it, I'll bring it on and show you. This was a pound. That's all. A pound from Poundland. And I was very, very pleased to see that. It's a, it's a lovely frame. So that's that. That was all I... No, it wasn't all I got. I'll tell a lie. I got these. Now these are little babies' hair bands. But I got them to use to put over books, to keep them closed, either that way or that way. These have got beautiful little bows on. And there's three in there. And I also got these, which are also hair bands. There's six in here. Uh, for the same reason, for, for bigger books. Planners, travellers, notebooks, journals. Anything like that. Um, I think they'll, they'll be good. And there's a nice selection of colours there. And these are absolutely beautiful. So, there's those. Then, from the pound shop, I got one of these. I've seen a few people hauling these. Um, they do do a pink one, but there was only one pink one left. And when I opened it, these two here were missing. So, obviously, that was why the one was left. So, um, they're nice, these are. I keep a sticky note set uh, on the coffee table, so if I'm watching craft television, uh, I can write down ideas, uh, or if I just want to jot anything down, I've got it handy. And the one I've got that I bought from Wilco's, I'm nearly finished, so that's what this has been bought for. I'm going to put that on the coffee table. So I thought that would look quite nice. And it's got a magnet on the top as well. So that's what I got from Poundland. Next, I went into B&M. And I saw this wall. And I just couldn't resist it. It's beautiful wool. Double knitting. It's absolutely perfect for my baby blankets. It's pink, orange, blue. That is going to knit up, I think, absolutely beautifully. And I'm looking forward to starting knitting with it. Although I have just started another blanket using up some more of the scraps um, that some of you will know I've been doing. So I've got to wait until I finish that one. So it'll be a while before I start on this. But it's absolutely beautiful, I think. And, and so perfect for, for what I want it for, for the baby's blankets. So that's that. Now, from B&M, I was looking for some gold mirror card. And the B&M that I went into on Saturday didn't have any, but I found this. Now, it's vintage craft, 16 sheets of laser cut craft paper. Now, I haven't seen anything like this before. And this is what you get. Beautiful sheets of, of dyed, well they're laser cut it says and there's the blue one 
the flowers. Now this could be used very easily as a stencil. Put spray through it. Ink through it. There's another pink one coming up there. The butterfly. The butterflies. I mean, they could be snipped out, possibly. So, I don't know yet what I'm going to use it for. But, I just had to get it. I, I couldn't resist it. It's is there two there? Oh, yes, there's two there. I'm just going to put my hand behind to show you. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, I got that. As I say, I couldn't get the um, mirror card that I was after from that B&M. But this morning I went into another B&M and I got this. 20 sheets A4 gold card, 250 GSM, 199 Absolute bargain. I've had it from there before, they're very good for a card, I bought coloured card, uh, glitter card, and I have bought their mirror card before. So I was pleased with that. Now, I bought a magazine um, on Saturday, Crafts Beautiful, which had a free little magazine with it called Elf Crafts and there are stitching I'll try and show you a little bit sorry for the blurring sorry uh, you, you stitch them I'll try and use that there's gnomes to knit and there's all sorts of uh, projects in this free little book. Those are to knit, which is uh, what I do. As you know, I don't do the sewing. The only sewing uh, I do um, is the cross stitch, which I enjoy, but any other, <laughs> anything else with a needle like that, I, I don't uh, do bags and it's sweet good for using up uh, bits and pieces of scrap wool and there are some crochet ones as well and there's a little dolly there to knit I'll try and show you the crochet ones um, are those them? Yes, those are them. There they are. You can see them if I come down here. But there they are. Those are the little crocheted elves. So that's the, the little book. Um, I won't flick through the whole magazine, but it's a very good magazine. There's lots to. Uh, well, there's a lot to interest me. Lots of card ideas. There's a lot of card ideas using the free pack. Now, if I show you this, this is the box that it came in, the free gift, and you get sheets of card, I've taken them out of the box because I'm filming, I've only got one hand today, free, um, pieces of card to make your card blanks or to do your mat and layering. You get a free bone folder. This is all from tattered lace. This is. Then you get these sheets of toppers. I think there's four sheets and there's two designs on each. Try and get them the right way around. And this one, which is. Lovely and colourful. I really like that one. The teddy. And this one. The 
robins and she's nice. Uh, I'll move this over here actually. Sorry, it saved me reaching across in front of the camera. Then all these sheets of paper. Remember how many there are? It's quite a few sheets of paper, and it's nice quality as well. It's very nice paper. There's that winter scene there, and then that one. I mean, there's a few of these that's like that. Uh, or is that snowflakes? I was going to say it's suitable, you know, for other than Christmas. But they're nice for just winter projects. This is a nice one. Look at the robins on there, isn't that nice? It's got snowflakes on it. And a nice winter scene. And this has got snowflakes on it. This is nice sort of, I uh, don't know if you'd call it ombre, but it, it blends into different colours. Another winter scene there with some deer. So that was the free gift, which uh, I thought was very good actually to get all that. And the last thing that I got was from the works, and this was £3. It's called Traditional Christmas, and there are 24 sheets, and it's got with 2 by 24 designs, some are double-sided, it's 250 grams, so it's a good weight. So I'll try and show you without too much blurring. I apologise if there is, but doing it this way. I can show you the pages better. But there might you know, be some blurring. These are double sided. You've got the reindeer. It's like it's upside down but anyway you can get the gist don't you. That's nice. I do like that one with the writing. And that one. Snowflakes. Parcels, which I did think could very easily be fussy cut. Even these could be fussy cut as well. Ooh, they came out a bit blurred, didn't they? Upside down reindeer heads. <laughs> Stars on that one. And that one is like, um, oh, sorry about the blurry. Um, a knitted fabric. That one's like a, a fair owl pattern. It's been knitted. It's a nice one with the trees. And the green one with the white. Are they stars? I think there's, yes, they're stars. This is nice with a very subtle. I mean, from a distance, you can't see it. The camera is actually showing it up very well. From a distance, um, let's see, where's the clue? A baubles. This is nice. This could be fussy cuts as well. Stripes. Snowflakes. In there. is a nice one. It's a bit, um, perhaps it's just because it's red and white, it just makes me think of the Scandi uh, papers that are out at the moment. I mean, those two are the same there, so I think uh, we've done them all now. We're on to the second half of the paper. Yeah. So that, I mean, that's excellent quality and I think excellent value. Three pounds from the works, and I think that's it. Can't see anything else lying around that I should be showing you. 
So that's my little haul. Um, I hope you like it and I hope you'll give me a thumbs up for it. I would appreciate that very much. It's nice to get a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you've enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. So I'll say goodbye now and I'll see you all very soon with my next video. Bye-bye everybody.